Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. The last time we got the paints out, we painted uh, Mia's hair orange and we, well, just like it is on the box art. And because I ended up painting Olivia's hair a metallic blue and I just happened to casually ask, would you like to see all the other girls with metallic hair? Well, you overwhelmingly commented, yes, do a metallic hair series. So today we are doing the metallic series for the Lego Friends girl's hair. So we're gonna repaint Andrea's hair, which didn't turn turn out quite as well as I would have liked and all the other girls are going to get a metallic hair makeover. Where's Stephanie? And they've actually got their metallic clothes on uh, as best as I could do. Olivia actually doesn't have many clothes choices because she is the only mini doll with that skin tone at the moment so she just has to make do with her normal clothes. But we're going to start with Stephanie today and Stephanie is going to get Hmm, let me see. Well, I've decided that Stephanie is going to have vibrant, shiny red hair. And I'm actually using nail polish for this because I don't have many metallic paints. And I use model paints generally for my Lego makeovers. But mm, I'm not so certain how well nail polish is going to do. I know that it will flake and peel if you kind of move if you move it. So I'm actually going to end up putting quite a thick coat, well, thick, several coats to make it nice and thick and rich color as well, but also to make sure it's a nice, strong paint cover too. So this is the, oh, this is the nail polish that I found. It's, it's reasonably cheap and it look it's got with gel tech. So I don't know what that actually means, but it means, well, well it looks pretty shiny and kind of like a liquid gel on her head, but we're going to put some more layers on there because it's not the color that it's supposed to be yet. Andrea next. And Andrea, I don't need to take off the existing paint because I'm using the same brand model paint uh, to put the metallic over the top here and she is going to have gold hair. She is going to have a very heavy head because her hair is now made out of pure gold and everybody's going to be chasing her to just cut off a lock of it so they can be rich and it's not actually real gold but we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> but she's gonna have to really put her running shoes on for the people who don't know that because it's gonna look like real gold hair. <laughs> it's gonna look metallic-y. All right, we, we're gonna have to do a couple of layers of this as well, though it's pretty good coverage. This particular paint really does a nice job. Covers really well, even on the dark colors. So that's not a bad start. We'll put that aside. Oh, hold on, I missed a bit down here. We'll put that aside to dry. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what these are going to look like on the girls because you don't really know until you actually put it on their bodies and you don't want to put it on their bodies until they're entirely dry. Now this gold is matching the gold of her outfit. So this is, this is exciting. Who's next? Okay, uh, next up we're going to do Mia. And Mia, I've decided we're going to do her hair purple, a darker purple than the one on her shoes. And this one's a really metallic-y color here. <laughs> Same brand as the other one. It's what was on special this week at the shopping center. This is what we're going to try. And the practice ones that I've done have actually worked really well and they haven't cracked and they haven't peeled and they look spectacular. But this one is super duper runny. And as you can see, it's not covering it particularly well. So we are going to need quite a few layers, which is fine. You don't want to put on thick layers because then it takes forever to dry and it's not going to be a particularly good coverage either. Not a very good even coverage. And nail polish is so gloopy anyway. It's, it's so, so, so thick, but runny. <laughs> How does that work? How do you have thick and runny? I suppose you just do. Well, there we go. We've got one layer on there for Mia's hair. Next up, we're going to give Emma's hair. Oh, I could make it silver to match her clothes, but silver, well, I'll talk about silver in a minute. I've actually got this gorgeous titanium colored paint and it's like silver and gold mixed together and it's really, really attractive. It looks just spectacular, look at it. And it's covering the black of her hair really, really well without even needing an undercoat. I thought I would have to undercoat these with white so that I wouldn't have to do lots and lots of layers, but it's just covering it really beautifully. Look how shimmery and shiny it is. We'll paint down here around the face and just at the back, cause this hair tends to peek through. You can see it from the front sometimes. And oh, I was always miss that bit on the bottom. Good. It's looking good. Uh, just 
I feel as though I need to keep poking all these little bits that I can still see, but no, stop poking them with the paintbrush, wait till it dries. Okay, who have we got now? Oh, well, Olivia's already done, but I didn't want her to miss out on the fun today, so we're actually going to give her a completely new hairstyle. Here is the hair that I painted for Mal, actually Mal this time, I'm getting it right, for the Mal video, and it's actually uh, Ira's hair, and I've hacked off the elves' ears, as you can kind of see there. Once you've painted over it, you don't notice that the ears have been chopped off, and we're going to make it a pinky color, but still pinky purple because it's already purple. Once again, this was the nail polish that I found on special, and it is a different color to the other purple. So this one's more pink to match her pink top, and we'll see how this goes. But it's such a luscious color. Look at that. It's just vibrant and it is dripping everywhere. Now that's the problem with using nail polish is it doesn't necessarily stay where you put it. It tends to dribble down with gravity. So we will see how this goes. This is, might be an experiment that doesn't turn out. <laughs> we'll find out. But I really like this hairstyle for Olivia. I think it actually suits her better than her new hairstyle. And I'm not certain why. I think maybe because she's got the glasses on, it's just so busy. I just don't know. I, I can't figure out why. If you've got any opinions on why this one might look better, maybe because it's tied up than, than her actual hairpiece, uh, let me know in the comments because I can't figure it out. But there's our first layer of that one. Now, let's put some more gold on here. Let's do our second layers and we'll speed this supidy stupidy speedy up because nobody wants to watch me paint for the next five minutes because that would just be dull and boring and we want to see what this looks like on. Oh, look how shiny that is. And Stephanie's hair is not looking metallic at all. It's looking super glossy. <laughs> the camera is not actually picking up the sparkle in that, but it's going to be glossy, so that's all right. Another layer of the titanium for Emma's hair all over. And I'm going to do something a bit special with Emma's hair, so we'll just wait. <laughs> we'll come back to it when it's really dry. And oh goodness, look at that. It is just so runny. <laughs> but the first layer dried quite nicely, so we'll see whether we just completely ruin that. And last one now for Olivia's new hairpiece. Oh, what a lot going on, going everywhere. All right, they are all dry. Now, these two colors are similar, but not the same. So that's, that's, that's okay, I'm quite happy with that. But this one is going to need yet another coat. Hmm, they, they, they really do look different now that they're a nice solid color now. With Emma's hair, we're going to try a dip or a, like an ombre here. And I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try with the metallic blue that I used on Olivia's original hair. So if we make this a really light layer first, and then I'll put another layer on that's nice and heavy down the bottom and try and blend it all in. So, so I've actually wiped the majority of this paint off my brush so that it's, it's just, it's going on very, very lightly very, very lightly indeed, which looks really pretty even to start with. <laughs> really pretty. This is nice. I think, think this might end up being the nicest hairpiece of them all. Oh, I've got some up there. That's right. I can fix that. I'll go over and put some fresh titanium over the top when I finish making my mess down the bottom. <laughs> so some thicker blue down the bottom, more, more paint on the brush. So it's really, really nice and solid color. We'll blend it in with the, and, and fade it up into her hair and it definitely looks dipped now just bring it up the front a little bit oh oh look at that I got right up there ah. <laughs> don't worry we can fix that uh, okay let's get some more titanium and just fix my little mistakes up there Ta -da! it's just like a titanium eraser perfect layering some more paint over the top and now that that is dry now now, because these two are quite similar, I'm going to do, well, they're not, they're not, they're different enough, but I did tell you right back near the beginning that I was going to try silver, uh, um, but I haven't decided on silver for any of the girls because silver can look grey. So I'm going to actually do Mia's hair in silver and, and, and we'll see what you think. You can tell me in the comments what you think, whether you think it looks too grey or whether it actually does look silver enough so whitey shiny enough 
to not look grey. <laughs> we'll see. But I, I, I suspect, I suspect I'm gonna end up preferring the shiny purple. So this is all dry now. Let's take away my little sheet of protective paper and let's try them on the girls. So here we go. Now I know Mia's not wearing any silver, so it's not really gonna match. But just to look and see, eh, I actually, actually, it does work. It does work. All right, so I don't know that it looks grey. You'll have to tell me whether you think it looks grey, but look at that purple. Oh, I said luscious before. Was that for this one? They're, they're both luscious. I think the purple looks really nice. I'm going to put the silver away. <laughs> okay, Andrea with her Midas-touched gold hair. Oh, is that heavy, Andrea? It looks heavy. How are you going to move around with that? Well quite spectacularly she's gonna move around that looks really 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 spectacular okay uh, Emma with her ombre colored hair with the titanium and the metallic blue I really like that what do you think oh that's really really pretty that is so pretty they're all looking really great with their new hairdos with their new makeovers all right uh olivia with her new actual hairdo and the new color and i really like that i really like the hairstyle i really like the color i really love the metallicness of it i think it all looks just beautiful i think i think she looks so pretty like that let's just check it with the blue hair let's go back see this is her her new hair piece for 2018 in blue it's okay but I really like this I really like it it looks so lovely I like that <laughs> did I mention that I like it let's see how Stephanie's went so you still can't see that shimmy you could probably kind of kind of see the shimmer I'm disappointed that, that hasn't turned out as as metallic -y as I had as it looks to me here in person but looks really great on Stephanie in fact, it even makes her hairpiece, which I don't love so much, look good on her too. That nice, strong colour really suits her features and suits her colouring as well. So, here they all are with their new hairdos. Do you have a favourite? Which colour on which girl do you like the best? And you can actually, well, we can actually just chop and change them. In fact, I painted a gold one for Stephanie earlier. Look at that. <laughs> so she too could have really gold heavy hair. And because we can't have two of them matching because they might get a bit antsy about that. We can put the red one on Andrea, which actually looks really, really good. That also looks beautiful with her skin tone. The really, really vibrant red. That's gorgeous. Oh, and what about the blue? Actually, get on there. That hair is not getting on there. Behave. On there properly. Oh, look at that. That actually, that looks gorgeous too. That really, that really suits her. Andrea looks great in, in all of these. We'll go back to her gold hair though. <laughs> she can be twinsies with Stephanie. Don't know how she'll feel about that. <laughs> so we can mix and match their hair. I'm going to have to paint some more metallic hair. If you have got an idea that you would like to see for another hair makeover series, make sure you tell me in the comments because this is really fun. I'm having great time giving them some new hair. Okay. Oh, and, 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 and then in the meantime, you know, you have to do all those things like subscribe and check out my other videos and click like. Like, and and make sure you check back in really soon because you know there'll be a new video soon too bye